Welcome back to the channel guys, got another juicy video for you here today on the Canadian series. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, let me know in the comments down below every day there's something different happening and this was definitely my favorite trip that I've been on and there's a lot to offer up there so I tried to switch it up every day and we got something special for you on this video. If you guys are subscribers to the channel and you've watched a lot of my videos you know that I do like to do some crappie fishing. I think because it's kind of a microcosm of finding big schools of bass and then being able to pluck them out and then they are delicious. So today is an extra special crappie fishing video and they are giants and how we found them is crazy. Let's roll. Crappie found. He's got a fish and it's a crappie. Sling him in. This is a little one though. That's a little one, but we'll take him. Yes! I told you, man. Crappies! <laughs> the crappies have been located. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Crappie. Nicely done, Dad. Yes! Crappies! Of course, this is a small one. For here, yeah. That's a big one back in Texas. Yeah. There are some stud crappies in here. Oh, I got a crop. Oh, that had to be a crappie. Wait, it hit it. It was a thum. Yeah. Oh, there's another bite. Got him. That's a crappie. That's a good one. Good. Oh my gosh, these are giants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are giants. Oh my gosh. Look at these hammers. Oh, God. Get you some of that, boys and girls. Oh, it's happening. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, these are the biggest crappie I've ever seen. Giant black crappie. Yeah, this one's. Yeah, big. tiny minnows. So here's the deal, y'all. Out here on Rainy Lake, catching crappie is kind of a mysterious thing. They have gigantic ones. I'm talking common 18 inch crappie. They can get up to three pounds out here on the regular. That's a little one right there. But they don't have a length limit. You can keep 10. Usually they're just really hard to catch, and there's this rare time where they get on beds, kind of like the smallmouth are right now, but the rest of the time they're mysterious. So everyone up here talks about these crappie and they're more tasty than walleye even they're incredible so what we're going to try to do is try to capture these crappie my dad yesterday he caught a crappie on a buzz bait i mean crappie giant oh my gosh get him in the boat get him in the boat it's the first crappie i've ever seen hit a buzz bait oh my gosh that's a mondo and we went back and we told the other guys at the camp that they were like, what? A crappie? We got to go back there. We got to see if they're there. So that's where we're at right now. So if we could put together a good limit of crappie and maybe it's probably going to be my PB crappie. I would love to get a replica crappie of one of these giant black crappie up here made. We're using these finesse rods, the Yampa Rivers, to cast out. We're using the small, I'm using the little micro shad, the LFT micro shad. We're going to probably throw some some hair jigs and stuff like that. But you guys have seen me use these in the videos before. The Yampa Rivers, they're probably the best crappie rod out there. Uh, uh, they're high-end rods, but they're phenomenal for trout, crappie, panfish, stuff like that. Back us up a little bit, Dad. You're getting a little too close. <sighs> this guy. Oh my God, it's huge. Is, is that a crappie? You have another one? It's like a bass. That's a crappie. Oh my God. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Look, he's let him, Yeah. To let him go. We have found these crappie, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to sling him. Oh, come here. Get in the boat. Oh, yes. yes. Look at the size. These are giants. I thought it was a bass. Put that guy in the well. He was right on the shoreline. Mm-hmm. We've located them, boys, all because of a buzz bait. I mean, it's, you can put that thing right where you want it. It's a little whip, buggy whip. Yeah. All right, boat positioning, boat positioning. Oh, sorry. 
why don't you send some little hair jigs for me? I've never used them, but this seems like a perfect opportunity. Got one? Watch that boulder. Oh gosh, hammer. Hammer time. Got you, buddy. Whew. Hammers. Look at that. We're doing it now. Crappie. Crappie on that hair jig that you guys sent in. It's a it's a giant. It's a giant. Oh gosh. Oh baby, look at these freaking hammers. Oh my gosh, that's a hammer, Dad. Look at that. Oh my God, it's huge. That is awesome. I don't know how long that, let's, let's just get a quick. That's like 14, 14, that's huge. The other guys told us yesterday, they're like, don't ever, don't let anyone see you with even one crappie. They're like, don't let anyone see you. They're gonna be all on you asking where you caught them and everything. So this might be some secret deal. I don't know, you know. In Texas, we're just we're catching them and we're happy about it. But up here, it's it's a very big deal, and you can catch an absolute trophy. That's what I'm really excited about: the opportunity to catch like an 18-inch crappie. Whoo! Mount that up in the treehouse. Put that next to a big bass. That'll be awesome. They're beautiful black crappie up here. So we got a couple more islands around here. I think we're gonna hop around and see if we can duplicate this pattern. If if not, we'll come back and fish these spots a little bit more. They're very concentrated it seems when you catch one throw back in that exact same spot you're probably going to catch another one you got one too yeah he had it too that's a tiny one throw him back he might be on this little point area as well you got another one yeah oh yeah oh no i'm stuck got it oh being tricky little one it's a good one is it a magnum watch it easy oh yeah there's a juicy Got him. yeah he's a throwbacker these are beautiful fish pretty black tails Oh, I got a slime. There's a crappie. That's a crappie. That's a good one. That's a good one. Get in here, boy. There's the old thick back. Look at that. Yes, sir. Going in the grease pile. Y'all look inside this live well right now. We are gonna eat so good tonight, Dad. Look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh man, this is what we're catching them on. Before we look into the live well, this uh, Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Um, I think it's a baby live magic shad or micro live magic. I can't remember, but it's got a little pink head on it, and uh, that's on that Yampa Ripper. We're just stomping them. They're coming in these little patches right here of grass with rocks on the back side of this. This island, the bite's pretty subtle and they're up shallow, check this out. Look at that. That's what we got going, guys. That is spectacular. Mm -mm. Oh, God, look at that. That might be a big one, Dad. That could be a magnum. Staying down like a crappie. God, he break you? Got one. Got a crappie. That's for sure a crappie. That's a good one too. Uh, they're all good ones. Oh, come here, baby. Yes. These are all slabs. Slabtastic. My little lure's about had it. Oh, there's another bite. Got him. Good. 
Good crappie. Oh, this wind might be helping us. Look at that guy. Biggins. These are the biggest crappie I've ever caught. Jeez. They're just studs. I don't think I can lift that when he's so wide. He's so light. You know, they're big when you're lipping them by the boat. Goodness gracious. Oh, you got to love it. Limit's 20. I don't think we have 20 in there. But there are some solid 14 and 15 inch crappies in that live well. And we are going to put them in some grease. They're no good taking them home, getting them frozen. You got to do crappies while they're fresh. So here's the plan. We're going to continue out here fishing. We're going to do a small mouth micro popper challenge. So that was our original intent this morning. We were going to go do that video. Me and dad are going to do a challenge video with that. But we got on those crappies. We did not think that it was going to be possible because everyone was telling us, oh, if you find crappie, it's, it's a golden, it's a golden nugget and they're hard to catch and you know, all this kind of stuff. And then we go out there and we start whacking them. The situation we found, we couldn't duplicate it. They're feeding on really small minnows. We use those pink 1 16th ounce jig heads with that little micro shad and it was killer for those magnum crappies. So now we are going to take it to the kitchen part and do a catch and cook with these Mondo slabs. Most of what I've caught in my lifetime has been white crappie, not so much black crappie, but they are thick and juicy up here, guys. And I don't know, we tried the red hot on the walleyes the other night and everybody loved it. So we might be doing that, but when we get to the kitchen, we'll decide. So if you guys haven't kept up with the other catch and cooks, you'll like this portion of the video. Of course, it's always my favorite. Success. We just slayed the crappie today. Now we got to take these babies in. We're going to clean them. We know these are going to be delicious. My first Canadian crappies. Mm. I had to switch jackets because I literally had slime all over that one. Right here is the fish shack. This is where all the fish cleaning gets done. Pretty much out in the middle of the woods. There's bears that try to get in here. There's actually wolves that live out in these woods. It's kind of crazy. And there's also tons of mosquitoes. So this thing is locked down with a screen door. They look nice. I measured one that was a 15 for sure. Wow. Gotcha. The guys back home would go crazy. Yeah, we gotta let them guys. Any eggs in them? Nope. Woo! Crappies have been chilled. Now it's time. Time to drain. LFD! Right here, so I need you. Alright, put you in. Completely drain those. All right. Okay. So, so chill. Are we gonna cook them this size? We're gonna chop them up. Chop them up. Right, Do you want me to turn the oven on again, Calvin? You think we'll need the oven? I don't know. Look at that fresh, delicious, white, flaky meat. Look at the size of that filet. That's literally a crappie. Wow. Look at the thickness. Turn it sideways. Look at the thickness on those bad boys. This goodness. This goodness from the north. That's my hands are huge. It's a 25 inch. That's crappie. huge. Chopping in the chunks. Uh, about three, three inches long. We haven't had five cents. Get them juicy. golden crispies. Get them juicy. All right. Put them in the batter. With the new. There you sauce. go. There you go. Yes, lightly battered. Put them in the grease. Yes. There it is. That is lightly battered. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Right. Cooking with LFD. So you guys know, I've done this recipe a few times, but this is Frank's Red Hot, smothered and covered with the chopped crappie fillets, and then all you do is just toss it in some, uh, you can do all-purpose flour. This is kind of a mixture, salt, pepper, all-purpose flour, and a little bit of spices. But you really don't need too much spice if you got the Frank's Red Hot in there. This is the original. That's original Frank's. I actually like the wing sauce a little bit better. Colton is a Winston's camera guy. He told me this recipe. I learned it from him. Anyway, it's huge up here. Everybody in the cabin loves it. And we're going to be cooking it many more times up here at the cabin. Fish is in the grease. When they start to float, that's when you take them out. Do a little pad and dry action. Coming soon. Then you put it in your mouth. And you enjoy it. The Golden Crispies! Last time I did Patty, 
It's looking good. I think we gotta get these to taste test right here, right now. What do you think? Go ahead, sir. We're, okay. Be my official taste. LFD, you've done a great job here. These are golden crispies. All right. I gotta do a raw taste test. Where, where's the coolest section? Where can I? Where's that the safe place to go? The front part. On the front part. All right, we get a nice juicy one here. This is it, y'all. This, this is for all the mall. All the hard work right here. The four. That's so amazing. Mm. Oh, awesome! Does it make you want to be a crappie angler? Like, to boat your, to boat your fishing. I'm, not, like sure about, fishing? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Mm. Is that LFD? Oh, wow. Eating fish. <laughs> That's LFD. <laughs> be careful! You'll be on, you'll be on the internet. LFD is in the hole. Mmm, <laughs> golly, y'all. I wish you could all taste that. Fish up north in general are way better than the fish down here, especially in the summertime. The meat just grows slower. It's super white and flaky, but those crappie. I thought the walleyes are amazing, and they are, but crappie from up there on Rainy Lake. Woo! Now, if you guys want to try that recipe, you didn't quite get it during the video, I will leave it down below so you can try it on your next fish. And if any of you crappie guys or other fishermen want to try that micro shad, or I, I actually don't think it's called a micro shad, I think it's a baby shad. I've caught bass with it, I've caught crappie with it, a lots of pan fish, it's a good little lure, and uh, my friends over at Lake Fork Trophy Lures make it, so if you want to check it out, I'll have that link down in the description where you can go get it. And if you're looking for that ultimate crappie rod, you're serious about it, or just an ultimate pan fish, finesse, ultralight rod, that Yampa River is the deal. They are incredibly light and sensitive and just fun to fish with in general. And that segues us into the next video, y'all, which we are going to use those rods to attempt to catch smallmouth on top water and do a challenge, me and dad. Go ahead and hit the ding-dongs. You might get a notification for the videos. I'm not sure how YouTube's doing it these days, but I, don't, I guess it helps. Until I see you again soon on the next Canadian series video, Fishing Freaks, hang on to your crawler harnesses and hit that sub button. I'll see you there.